that's important to mention is the data shows that while the vast majority of these victims were female passengers, it also affects Uber drivers and men. Nationally, there's been a problem with women being victimized uh, in the Ubers. Bridgeport attorney Doug Mahoney represents Jane Doe, a young Connecticut woman who took an Uber back home from a bar. The driver of the Uber proceeded to sexually assault her and grope her and fondle her. The first of its kind lawsuit in Connecticut pending in court. And now Uber voluntarily releasing data showing nearly 6,000 incidents of sexual assault across the country over the last two years. I think it's terrible. I, I really think you have to question the whole system. Uber says one incident is too many, but maintains these instances are very rare out of 2.3 billion trips. It is just the world, and we have to be a little bit safe. We have to have a buddy system. Manuela Shu Davidson's kids take Ubers. I always tell them to make sure to check the license plate and that I know where they're going with it. Uber's safety measures include background checks for drivers and a panic button within the app where users can swipe to call 911. Attorney Mahoney says more can be done. If you install the cameras like you see in the New York City taxis, I think that might go a long way to reducing this problem. Speaking of taxis, people told us they don't mind paying a little more for peace of mind. I'd rather trust uh, a taxi something that's regulated, I feel safer. Uber isn't without regulation in Connecticut. State law requires drivers display Uber stickers, carry insurance, and register with the DOT. Senate Majority Leader Bob Duff passed a bill that stops out-of-state Uber drivers from picking up passengers in Connecticut. Anytime we do legislation, it's always important for us to look to make sure we're doing it and updating things the best that we can. And one of our primary responsibilities in uh, state government is to ensure that we're protecting the public. And Uber says that going forward, they're going to be implementing new safety features. They plan to share the identity of all of their banned drivers with their competition to make sure they don't get rehired with a different rideshare company and where they're able to re-victimize someone else. They also plan to allow users to eventually text 911 about their driver, and they're going to be setting up a survivor support hotline. We are live in Middletown. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.